So you're thinking Takami took his show on the road to Akagi? Oh, there you are, boss. Yeah, I mean, that's what we think, but we're not sure. He was acting all kinds of loony today. I don't know what his malfunction was. Didn't we have somebody else from our team who headed out to Akagi this afternoon? We could always try giving that guy a call. No. If Takami went there to battle it out with the Evo 3, then it's too late. The race would already be a go. <laughs> I thought he was out on a hot day with you, Natsuki. You know, just living the high life. <sighs> what the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, you guys. No need to apologize, young lady. Nothing that's happened is your fault. Besides, we don't know for sure yet if he's even actually racing in Akagi. He could be off doing who knows what else. Talk to me. this thing yet. He passed the 8-6! This race is over. No worries now, bro. Kyoichi is way too careful to lose his lead once he's got it locked in. Just because he took the lead doesn't mean it's locked. Can't relax yet, Kyoichi. The 8-6 could turn south on you real quick. This race is far from over, my man. I see him! Here they come, dudes! Mm. The Evo 3! It's the Emperor! Mm. Where's the 8-6? Right there! starting to move faster again. I get it now. Since he doesn't know this course, there was no way he could attack it at full speed when he was leading. But when he's tailing me, the guy can predict what's ahead based on my movements. He's a crap under him. I'm amazed he's pulling this off. 
Considering the acceleration gap between us, he's got to be turning those corners way faster than I am. Gotta give it to him. His control's something of a miracle. It'll put a hell of a strain on the tires, but I wonder if I should speed up now. Or maybe I should wait until the next straightaway to kick it on up. <laughs> That's stupid of me. I already know the answer. I'm not gonna change the pace at all. It'd be the crowning achievement of dumb moves for me to do that. As far as I know, it might have been how Seiji lost. A racer at the top of his game controls tire strain. He doesn't encourage it. I'll just stick to the basics. That's how I'll win this. The gap isn't widening anymore. It sounds like it's actually starting to get smaller. <laughs> it's amazing. The 8-6 is moving even faster than he does in Akina. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah? And what do you mean by that? It's all about the midsection of this course. It consists solely of mid-speed S-shaped corners. In that section, the driver has only a fraction of a second to accelerate from one corner to the next. They have to be consolidated in their movements. Right. The rest of the time on the course is spent struggling with the constant G-force coming at it from the side. It's not an easy thing to do. And with the misfiring system that Kyoichi has installed on his souped-up EVO 3, he's got unbeatable acceleration coming out of the corners. So the 8-6 has to compensate for this advancement by entering the corners at a much higher rate of velocity. Utilizing its lightweight body, which is his only real advantage, he waits until the last possible moment before braking on each corner. This gives him the use of the grip on all four tires to achieve maximum cornering speed. If the 8-6 hadn't already taken on the qualities of being an extension of Takami's body due to all the hours of practice he's put into it, well, there's no way he could have possibly achieved a miraculous performance like this one. Then it sounds to me like he hasn't given up yet. With the frame of mind he's in, he might not even be able to grasp the concept of giving up. His very being is busy becoming one with the machine. That's just his way. to shorten the gap at the corner. He widens the damn thing on the straightaways. That's the power differential. Hello, Fujiwara Tofu Shop. Oh, Yuichi, it's you. No, Takami isn't back yet. He's still out. So what the hell's going on here? Everyone seems to be looking for him like he's the missing link or something. He went to Akagi. I see. I gotta give it to you for even making it this far. It's a real feat for anyone. See you later, pal. turn section. I can kick it up to full speed after the next corner. This is when the serious racing starts. And they lend this thing fast. His style changed. 
For the first time tonight, I'm gonna use this feint and follow it up with an aggressive drift. That'll show him that I'm serious as hell about winning this race. It's not a long straightaway by any means, but it should be long enough to shake him off my tail. Here in the racing world, a blown engine means one thing, that you lost. But like I was telling you earlier, man, I never considered this thing a real race. Now you can accept the reality of what you're up against. I mean, just look at how dead your car is. The engine's smoking like it's been cooked on a barbecue. I think it might be about time to send your 8.6 out to pasture, bro. It doesn't matter how fast you can turn a corner. The difference between a fast car and a slow car is just too much. We'll race again sometime when you have a machine that's capable. One that actually does the job. something wrong no dude I'm good I did what I came here to do this whole thing was just for fun anyway for fun that race seemed a little too breakneck for something that was just a good time true enough it wasn't even really that much fun considering the 86's engine blew up before any of the good times could really get rolling <laughs> he blew out his engine I can't believe this whoa dude I think the 86 lost seriously the Red Suns. Man, they're in shock. He blew his freaking engine. That Evo 3 was just too much for him to take on. Guess it was that difference in power. And he was undefeated before tonight. Never would have seen this coming. I just knew our boy would win this. Going up against Kyoichi with some lame 86 was a suicide mission to begin with. Everything happened like we expected it to. But something's off. I don't get it. Somehow, I'm unsatisfied with how it turned out. Maybe I expected another ending. Or something more from that 8-6. We'll save our race until next weekend. I'm looking forward to it. 
Enjoy your confidence while it lasts, man. Because I'm gonna crush you. And when the dust finally settles, you're gonna find the Emperor is having conquered all of Gunma. <laughs> Hey, son. Oh. Hey there, Dad. Dad, I... I, I just... We'll talk about it later, all right? First things first. Gotta tow it. So what are you doing, son? Stop conking at her and get in the cab already. Yeah. So, how'd you find out? I mean, how'd you find out about the wreck? I just had a feeling. You had a feeling? Yeah. Hey, Dad, I got a question. Yeah, what? I've been saving up some cash for a little while now. I should have about two grand in the bank. Maybe it's not enough, but I want to try and use that money to help repair the engine, if that's cool. Mm. Well, you've got a lot more than that, buddy. And you're a hell of a lot richer than you think. What? You've been delivering that tofu ever since you were in junior high school. I started a savings account in your name back then. I mean, yeah, I borrow a little bit from it every once in a while. Good, then I can use that money for the repairs, too. I can't let you do that. You think it'll just be too expensive? How much would this kind of thing cost, anyway? It's not a monetary issue, Taco. Because that engine can't be repaired no matter what you try. See, there's a small pin that connects the crankshaft and the conrod. Well, that pin snapped and the conrod punched a big hole in the engine block from the inside out, like some kind of mini explosion. It's not my fault. If I hadn't acted like an irrational idiot, this wouldn't have happened. That engine is history. We need to put in another one. What? Another one? That's right. Are you gonna use an engine from another car, or are we gonna have to build one from scratch? Even if the thing could run again, with a new engine, the car would feel completely different. And isn't that blown engine something special to you? I mean, you put so much time and effort into building it over all these years. We should really try to fix it, I think. Let's borrow the money if we have to. I don't care. I'll donate every dime I make to repairing it. <laughs> Come on, kid. We aren't that poor, you know. Yeah, then why would we have to use the engine from some other car? Look, if I could, I would. Trust me, if there were any way to fix it, I'd try. But that sucker's beyond repair. That engine is useless. It's scrap. And that's the end of that story. Talk 
Kimmy still hasn't gotten home yet. I wonder what happened to him. Something's wrong. I just know it. Talk to me. Listen. You think you're responsible for what happened, don't you? That's why you're beating yourself up. You're wrong about that. You just happened to be the one driving it when it blew. I promise you, son, it's not your fault. Now we got the Evo 3 and the FC racing in Akagi. Next time on Initial D, second stage. Battle at Akagi, the black and white flash. Don't miss it. <laughs> 